Hi and welcome to Friday's Live Trading. I hope you're very well. Uh, just a couple of um, notes before we get started. It's only like half past seven at the moment. Um, one is thank you ever so much for signing up for the 10k to 100k webinar. We did have some issues with um, some of the click-throughs not going through properly and so we had people thinking they were registered and they weren't. But it looks like most the majority of you who who have at least clicked now you you are on that you are registered now but we've still got a week to go before that if you have not clicked f to do the webinar yet or if you're overseas and thinking well I can't do it I can't make can't get to it click anyway because you'll immediately automatically receive a copy of the recording the following morning anyway so even if you you're thinking oh, I'm overseas I'm not going to be able to see it register for it anyway because it will make sure that you re automatically receive the recording. Okay, so really looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to put the link again on this email. Further down in the body of this email, I'll put the link. Um, secondly, uh, just a slight apologies for last week. I have not watched that recording from last Friday's video, um, but I did get told that my words were slurring a little bit. I just assume that it was just tiredness. It must have been tiredness last. So apologies. Nothing to do with the fact that I was out on this little stag do last Friday afternoon. Nothing at all. So a bit of tiredness. That's all it was last week. Anyway, right. I will press pause for now. Back in a bit. Okay, just back. It looks like I'm going to be buying a breakout here on this dollar euro yen. Um, to see if it has a bit of a push. Um, it may just um, break and then come straight back off though. I'm willing to sit on it so um, it's yeah it's looking that way. Okay right. Um, so I've just gone long euro yen. Did I say dollar yen? One unit long euro yen um, but I'm willing to sit on this one today so um, I think it could take some time so we shall see. So I've just put the one unit in. I'm willing to build the position. So um, that's why I'm only putting the one unit in. If it comes down, I'll be looking to build the position. So um, no tight stops to, uh, today on um, on this trade. So um, it's into a bit of resistance. It could well be that um, you know I've literally bought the high, and so um, but I have other reasons um, anyway. So um, I'm in, but quite happy to sit back and um, build a position. It's already had a good run. If we go to an hourly chart, it's already had quite a good run as we can see here overnight and so but just in case it wants to have a straight run up to these highs from yesterday um, I've um, I've put that in rather than just sitting there and, and, and missing out completely. So it's not like a fear of missing out, well I guess it is to an extent but um, the way you do that is you don't necessarily go in with your full full size. You sit back and say, "Okay, I'll put a unit in. If it breaks, fine. I'm at least I'm in. Um, but if it pulls back, it doesn't matter because um, you know I'm only with one unit and I'm still looking to build a position. So uh, long euro yen uh, as it stands at quarter past eight in the morning. Um, and I'm hoping it does pull back really because um, I want to get these other units in. I didn't really want to have to be buying on a breakout." Anyway, press pause now. Okay, and so this uh, euro yen is is practically got to that um, one twenty three seventy seven. So one twenty three seventy seven is yesterday's highs. So it's practically there at the moment. It's just nudging towards it. But I really don't want to want to be doing too much with this position. It's only a one lot position. So and I only got in at sixty three, didn't I? And and so I'm not looking to come out for. 10 pips or whatever, well, 13 pips or whatever. So it's um, it's going to carry on sitting on this one. I'm quite happy if it wants to then do a retracement and um, um, I, because I still want to get in with a bigger position yet. So um, on this on this on this market. So we'll um, carry on monitoring this one today. Now we've got dollar. Uh, we've got can, uh, Canadian news out at 1:30 today. It could be that I'm not doing too much with this euro yen because it's a bigger time frame pattern which means it could just take longer to play itself out so um, it could well be that at 130 I'm trading the um, some whatever dollar cad's doing so it might might be trading there later anyway so I'll press pause for now uh, just oh no just back yeah sorry I just didn't know the recording was started in then it has uh, just back and uh, as we can see with the the euro yen um, got into it 
down uh, here today um, and it's just been floating isn't it so it's been up about 20 odd pips at one point this euro yen but um, I just thought I'd give a little bit more commentary as we're now at what quarter past 12 just gonna sit on it really and if it pulls back at some point then I might get the opportunity to add um, build the position because I've only got the one unit in but at this rate I'm just gonna be sitting on this for most of the day so slow slow burner today um, but um, it's you know it's sitting up um, like I said entry was at 63.6 and um, we'll see where it gets to um, by the yeah, by later this day today this day <laughs> I'll press pause now okay just back it's now actually 10 to 4 I've been out since finishing with the guys in the trading room at 1 o'clock we can see that this uh, euro yen's uh, been up to 124, back up at 123.88. So here's the uh, account. Uh, I was actually in already, but I couldn't mention it this morning because I was in with a unit from yesterday evening at 123.17. But anyway, here's the entry um, today, 123.63. It's up 140 pounds, um, so 360 in total there. But um, I think I might just leave it for the time being. So, but I need to get this video finished. So, nice quick one today, um, six minutes. The main thing with with this, and I know I don't show a lot of information in these videos because obviously I hold back a lot of the technical reasons. But the main thing with today was we had good momentum, um, price momentum um, um, to the upside. Um, today at uh, the time when we t when I took that trade this morning so it was the right thing to do um, to to hop in the only shame actually was when I entered which was back down here on the breakout if you remember at 63 was this sh we were looking for a pullback here would have been nice to have got a pullback trade but um, rather than having to buy the breakout but anyway uh, that was the only thing um, but as it currently stands um, I'll just monitor this and see how it goes, but it's up like 300 and, um, 380 quid um, for the time being, and I'll see how it goes later. Right, have a great weekend. Back in touch soon.